What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global back here with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the New England Patriots' recent move at the quarterback position, claiming quarterback Nathan Rourke off of waivers from the Jacksonville Jags. Despite there only being three, four games left of the season, this New England Patriots team is still making changes at quarterback. And today, we are going to break all of that down. Most importantly, though, on your way in, guys, make sure you are subscribed to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. We're covering everything. In fact, this year, because of how bad we are, we're getting into the offseason content so much quicker. We're talking about the draft. We're talking about free agency. We're talking about coaching changes. Everything from top to, bottom, bo top to bottom to help rebuild this team. So make sure you guys are subscribed because about 50% of you watching the channel are actually not subscribed. So make sure you guys do that. But let's roll the intro and hop into today's breakdown. And of course, for those of you asking, my God's name, does Patriots Global sound like that? I am severely, severely sick right now, but the show must go on. We must push through as usual. But I think a lot of you, your main question is going to be, why are the Patriots making another move at quarterback? I mean, this is what their fourth, fifth, maybe even sixth change at quarterback this year. Why is this occurring? And that's because... The Patriots have had kind of a quarterback carousel, even more so occurring on this roster over the last week, week and a half. First, Malik Cunningham gets signed from the Patriots practice squad to the Baltimore Ravens active roster. That's one quarterback that they had certain packages for that was off their roster. Then, just a couple of days ago, Will Greer gets signed off of the Patriots practice squad and gets signed to the active roster to the Los Angeles Chargers. Patriots quarterback room, that depth behind Bailey Zappi, quickly, quickly became depleted. And we know that they don't want to throw Mac Jones in there. They are only going to throw Mac Jones in there for the rest of the year if they truly have to, right? They've kind of given up on Mac Jones. Mac Jones isn't going to be back here next year. They're not going to give him looks unless every other quarterback at this point is in. And it's also very clear that New England is trying to take advantage of the new NFL rule that was implemented this season, the emergency quarterback rule, in which you have to have at least three quarterbacks active on the roster. Now, essentially what that means is the Patriots will have to have Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi activated on the game day roster every single week for the rest of the week. Now, they can have... Uh, Rourke end up actually being an inactive every single week, but as long as they have Zappy and Mac active, if Mac and Zappy, let's say, go down and are unable to play in that game, Rourke, despite being an inactive before the game started, can actually play in that game as the new emergency quarterback rule, which is why we've seen the Patriots trying to keep at least three quarterbacks on the active roster for the majority of the season. Now, Rourke has bounced around in several different places since he ended his collegiative career and entered the NFL draft all the way back in 2020 after having a very, very productive college career. He didn't go as a, a draft selection in 2020, but to make matters worse for him, he also didn't get signed to a UDFA deal. He appeared in 39 games over his three-year collegiative career, put up a 58.7% completion percentage to go along with 7,457 yards and 60 touchdowns to go along with 20 interceptions. Now, because he ultimately did not get selected in the draft and it goes to UDFA, he decided that he was going to go to Canada and um, appear in 11 games over two seasons with the BC. Now, as he entered the CFL draft, he actually was a second round pick. He was the 15th overall pick in the second round. Um, and he went to go on to have a pretty good career in the CFL, which is why he's actually in the NFL today. He's kind of showing NFL players or, or just showing football players in general that even if you can't make the jump to the NFL right away, go to the XFL, go to the CFL, show yourself out because NFL teams are going to be watching. He, in those two seasons uh, with the CFL, 
He completed 76% of his throws, which actually is the leading record now for the CFL. He holds the all-time completion percentage there uh, and threw for 4,035 yards, 28 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. And then in January of 2023 is when he was able to get a futures contract with the Jacksonville Jags after the conclusion of that 2022. Now, guys, real quick, I got to give a shout out to the sponsors of the channel all season long, and those are my buddies over at BetUS. Me and really every single content creator for the NFL or sports content creator in general that you know of, I guarantee you is using BetUS, and that includes all of my buddies over at Roundtable Sports because this is the best betting platform on the absolute surface, whether you're using their mobile app or whether you are going to be utilizing uh, their, their desktop, you can be promised that BetUS's service is going to be the best in the business. In fact, my favorite thing about BetUS is the fact that let's say you're not feeling too well, just like me. Let's say you don't want to be looking at your screen or let's say you've popped a couple many two back on game day and you just realize I forgot to place my parlay and I only have 10 minutes left. You can actually call BetUS, place your bet online and they will do all of the work for you. It's just like you're in Vegas. It's just like back in the days. They are giving easy ways for you to make money. And right now, you guys can get a 125% sign-up bonus with BetUS when you click the link in the description box below or pinned in the comment section below. Remember, guys, you supporting the sponsors that support the channel are the absolute most important thing. You guys liking the video, subscribing, sharing, those are also great ways to support the channel. But guys, supporting the sponsors that are helping this channel out are really the reason that this channel is able to be running. So make sure you take advantage of the opportunity of 125% sign-up bonus with BetUS while also supporting the channel. Go ahead and sign up for BetUS, see what all of the hype is about, and then go ahead and use that 125% sign-up bonus. Because like I said, let's say you put down $100, that turns into $225 for you to play with. The more money you put in, ultimately the more money you're going to get out uh, up to $2,500. Not only do they have NFL that you can bet on, but they have NFL futures. They have college football, basketball, baseball, soccer, horse racing, fighting, everything on the absolute planet that you can imagine, BetUS is going to have it. And if you want to use that 125% sign-up bonus on something that isn't sports related, you can use it in their casino, blackjack, poker, poker, you name it, they got it. Parlays you can bet on, overs and unders, Every single prop betting wise that you could imagine, BetUS is going to have it. And if we take a look here on the screen, these are going to be the odds right now for the New England Patriots Christmas Eve game against the Denver Broncos. Me personally, I'm a little shocked that this game is a 6.5 differential right now. The Broncos are favored by just under a touchdown. While the Chiefs, I believe, were favored by seven or eight points. So it shocks me that the Broncos are this much of a favorite against New England. Ultimately, I'm going to take Denver. I hope that Denver does win this game, too, overall. Uh, over or under, I'm actually going to take the over here of 34.5 points. Last week, I told you guys to take the over. A lot of you were shocked, and guess what? The over did hit, and I think the same thing is going to happen here. Russ and that Broncos offense has been clicking. Their offensive line is one of the best in the league. Their defense is a little suspect, okay? Their defense is not nearly as good as the Kansas City Chiefs defense is. So the Patriots should have more offensive success this week, while the Broncos offense is definitely going to have success against New England's defense, especially with New England's questionable secondary that they're going through right now. But... Guys, again, check out BetUS and get that 125% sign-up bonus. BetUS, America's favorite sports book, where you can bet on everything, anytime. Sportsbook, casino, horse racing, live betting, and more. We have the best bonuses in the industry. That's right, get a 125% sign-up bonus. And to celebrate our 30-year anniversary, we are giving up to 30 risk-free bets, a truck, Super Bowl tickets, and more. Don't miss out. Play smart. Join now. Bet US, where the game begins. So, guys, to finish up this video here about Nathan Rourke, he, after being cut there during roster cutdown, was able to get back on the Jacksonville Jags practice squad, but was recently released. That's when New England put in a claim from him, realizing what happened with Malik Cunningham, realizing that Real Greer was also off the practice squad, and said, might as well put in a claim. Now, no. New England 
was not the only team that put in a claim for Nathan Rourke. The Houston Texans also put in a claim, but because New England is obviously a much, much worse team, currently second worst in the NFL statistically, and according to um, the waiver wire, they're second there with the Panthers being first. Because New England put in that claim, they got priority and they got Nathan Rourke here. And for those, of course, also asking, well, why is he going on the active roster and not the practice squad? That's because if you do claim a player off of waivers, they have to be to the active roster. It cannot be signed straight to the practice squad. If New England wants him on the practice squad, they would have to release him, clear waivers, and then sign him back to the practice squad. New England is also going to pick up the contract that he got while he was with the Jacksonville Jags, also as part of that waiver claim. Overall, guys, this is a move that I like. I'm actually excited to see what Nathan Rourke can do with the Patriots, maybe during training camp, during the preseason, right? I don't think he's going to do much for them now, but get a head start because the Patriots could potentially be looking for a backup quarterback. We'll see if Zappi can continue to prove himself, to solidify himself as that backup quarterback uh, for the 2024 season. But right now, New England's looking for an entire new unit from starting quarterback to backup quarterback for next season. And work is definitely going to be in the mix for a potential bridge quarterback, for a potential uh, backup quarterback. And he's a dual threat quarterback too. He's not just a pocket passer. He does have a, a absolute rocket of an arm. His accuracy is definitely hit and miss, but he has the uh, velocity. He has the arm strength to be able to get it downfield, but he's also a mobile quarterback at that also. He actually gained 2,034 rushing yards um, and scored 49 touchdowns on 425 carries during his collegiate career. And then in the CFL, he carried the ball 57 times for 415 yards and 12 scores, especially with New England in the next couple of weeks going up against a dual threat in Russell Wilson, going up in a dual threat against Josh Allen. Again, having kind of a scout team quarterback who can be mobile, but also has a big arm as a dual threat quarterback is going to help this defense prepare. But what are your guys' thoughts here on Nathan Rourke? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to leave a big, big like on this video for your boy. I'm out here sick with the flu or potentially COVID, and I'm still making these videos for you guys because Pats Nation, despite the loss, despite where this fan base is at, you guys still come first. But leave a like on your way out. Make sure you guys are subscribed for all of your New England Patriots news. But most importantly, don't forget, 